one that I noticed. But there's so many people that are just good at this game, and there's there's like, there you could fight like a Wi-Fi monster. Like you, you literally just can't sleep on anyone. I, all you can do, in my opinion, is go to. You can look up everyone in your bracket and like maybe surf them up on YouTube or something. Maybe find out what character you're facing. But for the most part, I feel like you just kind of have to go to locals and grind out matchups you suck at. Uh, and yeah, just uh, kind of get ready for the tournament nerves because everyone's going to be nervous at EVO, no matter how you slice that cake. It's just more so like, how well do you play when you're nervous? The Smash Con the week after EVO, I believe it is, help it. Take me if I'm wrong, chat. The Wi- Who are the Wi-Fi? Dude, there's so many Wi-Fi monsters out there. Wi-Fi is a great resource, man. O I mean, obviously, like, offline practice is better because in tournament you play offline. But Wi-Fi is still a great resource, and if you don't, like, have a local scene, most people have a local scene, but some people just, their situation makes it so they can't go, or it's, like, far. There's a bunch of different variables. But, uh... Yeah, Wi-Fi is a great resource, man. All right, so back into the match. I've been kind of having too much fun with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Man, those axes falling through the stage were broken. But, oh, man, and the uh, intangibility is only on that startup with that down B right there. Where is this tournament? This tournament is in uh, Santa Ana, California, SoCal. So it's in the Orange County area. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're anywhere near, I, I know there's a lot of people that drive like hour, two hours out here. It's a great tournament. We had almost 100 people tonight, so you get to play a lot of matchups, and even like, even if you get a low score, like if you go 0-2 or something, you get out of the tournament, everyone stays after, and they just grind it out. Some people will like money match, or if you want to just play to learn. Um, yeah, SoCal is about that grind, man. So if you're anywhere near the area, come out. It's a great time. I didn't use the Twilight Princess design. Sorry, just catching up on the chat, you know. Yo, Waifahu, what's up, dog? The Jelly Jiggler. For those of you who know in, in the chat, I am from Hawaii, so gotta, oh, always got to shout out the Hawaii homies, man. Yeah, Spargo's a Wi-Fi warrior. This guy is second on the SoCal PR, bro. This dude's insane. This character needs help. Luigi main 27. Are you talking about Luigi? Luigi got some stuff, man. He's got some stuff, but I, I definitely don't think he's the most well-rounded character. For sure. For sure. What happened to Terror Bear, Dynamo? I think Dynamo just doesn't like this. Oh, man. Nice uh, down air stomping, stomping on him, but that was the first stock, Con Con. You got a lot more work to do after that one. Yeah, Dynamo, I don't think he, he just didn't like this game. He preferred Smash 4. Or there's nothing wrong, you know. Um, every Smash game has their differences. Oh man, nice conversion coming out from Nitro there. Down air, drag down there into the up B, that damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, we out here and we dead at 39. That's what happens when you go crazy off stage. I miss Terror Bear, he was nasty. Yes, I miss Terror Bear too. Terror Bear actually is currently in, lives in San Diego, if I'm not mistaken, he used to live in LA. Um, I'm not too sure if he just doesn't like this game or if he's just too busy with life. You know, some people, Get, get too busy with their jobs and stuff, don't really have the time to come out to all these Smash tournaments. I definitely feel that, you know. Real life and health definitely comes first, guys. Net, don't get it twisted. Both these characters are cheeky in their own way. Yes, for sure, Foolish Paul. Uh, yeah, th these characters, I, I, I feel like both these characters have like high tier potential, but for me personally, they're both kind of like in that mid tier, but they're on the higher end of mid tier, just for me personally. Um, they're very, very solid, but then they just have, like, glaring weaknesses. And that's for both these characters. That back here will seal it out. Nitro, not taking too much damage on that lost stock, but uh, Kong Kong with that crazy reversal kind of brought him back into this game. And the thing about Simon and Richter, or just the Belmonts in general, if you guys are both on last stock, it's game on, baby. You can you can kill this character at any time, just like Little Mac, but recovery is a little bit better than Little Mac. Do I miss shield dropping? Yes. I miss shield dropping. I miss perfect pivot. I miss a lot of things about Smash 4. But Ultimate is for sure the best Smash game ever released by Nintendo. So I thoroughly enjoy it. I just I miss the old buffering system too. There's, there's a lot of things I miss. But overall, the game's just better, you know. The game's more balanced. Um, I like how they made a lot of the characters a lot more well-rounded. So I miss Grab. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of spot dodge, but you know, you already know, man. I do what I got to do for the W. I be spamming spot dodge too, man. It often's too good. That's the one nice thing, you know. Every character has access to the best move in the game, spot dodge. Everyone can do it. Slap City is the best game, Capital. Yeah, let's go. I've never played Slap City, but I've heard good things about it. So. Definitely. Uh, I, I played a little bit of Rivals as well. Rivals is very fun. But uh, for me, I got, oh, man, and he just hit him with the single coin. Just needs one coin for that stock, man. That, that stock exchange on that coin, man, pretty good. One stock for one coin, I'll take that. Yeah, coin spike, baby. Me personally, I don't like this game too, too much. I'm sure it's a decent game, but I kind of like Smash 4 for some reason, just a little bit. It's all personal preference, bro. There's nothing wrong with that Winter Soldier. Uh, I think one reason why I like Smash 4 too, I, I personally think I was just better at the game. Like, I, I, me as a player was just better at Smash 4. But I'm trying to grind it out. I'm trying to get better at Ultimate, you know. We all in the grind. And that single fireball. And wow, Kong Kong with all these gimps. You already know someone's uh, feeling themselves when they wave land on a platform. You already know. But, but yeah, I mean, Melee is a beautiful game too. Like, me personally, as a player, I prefer metas that like oh like there's seven relevant characters and like all these other characters like yeah sure you could lose them in bracket but you only realistically got to learn like maybe 10 matchups or so for the most part where'd you get your shirt from spiff space if you guys have never heard of spiff space i also have their bomber jacket it's so tight check them out and search them up on uh I'm pretty sure if you google spiff space you'll see it but Follow him on social media. He also, uh, Spiff. Spiff Spiff also has a site too. So a lot of great streetwear. I definitely rep that. This is a Kingdom Hearts shirt. Super clean. Smash 4 Bayo was super lit. Uh, I mean, for me, I didn't mind watching Bayonetta too much. As a player, it was very frustrating playing against Bayo. Like trying to ledge trap a Bayo and then getting which time and dying at 30 was not fun. I mean, obviously, there's counterplay, but just like. I definitely felt like I couldn't, uh, I had to play like much more bait style, and I just didn't personally like playing like that, so for me it wasn't too much fun. The Axe will take it right off the top, and wow, while we're talking about Smash 4, Nitro over here messing up Kong Kong and Ultimate, man, he brought it right back. One stock apiece. Oh, yo, Jelly Jiggler, you already know, man. Boy Korean friend, Dark Musician, all the, the Hawaii homies. What is your favorite Smash? What is your favorite set from Smash Ultimate so far? Leo Void up there. Uh, uh, I I, mean, I don't like the genre for people, but um, I just I just felt like that set for me. Ooh, that four Smash is clean. Void Leo Grand Finals at Genesis. It was just sad for me to watch because I I just just essentially watching your best friend just like run out of fuel. It was so late. He's, he already popped like two or three Red Bulls. Um, and then like, I just saw it, like I could just see it in his play too. I mean, even if Void was playing on point, I'm pretty sure Leo definitely could have won. Leo's a very, very talented player. But um, my favorite ultimate set, man, that's a that's a tough one. There's been a lot of great sets in ultimate. Um, man, that's a, that's a great question. I, I'm definitely, definitely thinking on that one. Like, what are, what are my favorite characters to watch? I really like watching uh, Fox. Like, Light, Light Void was very fun to watch at a Smash and Splash. Smash and Splash. Light Void. Um, yeah, Light's super fun to watch. Even Mars. Mars can be, like, very explosive. Like, Mars versus uh, Spargo was really hype. Was, like, there's so many hype sets to just think about. Oh, even... Um, Oh, my favorite set to probably watch. My favorite set was uh, Shuton versus Void at uh, at Genesis. We we like prepped super hard for that, so it was really cool to like see that. Oh man, you're dead. And just like that, Mr. Kong Kong getting that stock. Luigi not the play for this matchup. Rip. I mean, I don't think Luigi does well versus the, the Belmonts either. But Kong Kong has been maining Luigi for over a decade, so he's kind of like kind of trapped. I've seen Kong Kong like those secondaries, but for the most part, he he just has to play solo Luigi. Or doesn't have to, but I mean, like I said, he's been maining this character since Brawl, so 
He's definitely the most experienced with this character. Oh, double jump with the Tetracon, or the, I think that's what this guy was called. Not gonna quite work out. Our sent about to be done. Using all, all these projectiles. Kong Kong will definitely dip, weave, and dive through all these. Doesn't have to mess with that Arsene. Those uh, those aerials and uh, just, I guess all of his moves are just absolutely insane. Double jump up B. Ooh, I like the angle. Kind of like made it, did the up B a little bit more back. Kind of messed up Nitro's edge guarding there. Really nice stuff. Down B and great punish from Nitro, baiting out that down B. And I feel like everyone in SoCal is getting a little bit better at that. It's just such a great option. Uh, the down B it also has a win box too, so sometimes you try to like space right outside of it and it'll like pull you in or push you out. It's really weird. Sam vs. Tuka Genesis was a very hype set as well. Yeah, Genesis had like insanely crazy sets. Okay, there's a forward throw. Arsene is out to play though, and this might not be good actually because the recovery is not as great. Uh, the grappling hook definitely has a lot more mix ups, but the up smash out of shield. We'll take that stock here for Con Con. Now we're at one stock apiece. Okay. Oh, the, that dash tag still connected on both hits there, even though he looks a little bit behind. Kind of suspect, but you know. Okay, trying to get the down gun gimp here. Very great tool against any character that has to sink right underneath the ledge. Uh, Luigi definitely falling up into that department. And ooh, big damage here for Con Con. Double. Ooh, the counter was able to squeeze out. And here comes Arsene, but he got. A good amount of damage. Oh, misses the counter. Are you dead? Oh man, he's still off stage, and this is this is the worst. Okay, Sybe connects here. Gonna get Nitro on stage, but the down B will take him off the top. I believe. I I think it's two two. Is it? What what's the set go? Was that really Kong Kong's first game like that? I feel like it would be weird. If Kong Kong didn't win any games and like made him switch, I could be mistaken though. I'm like kind of commentating this game and I'm kind of hanging out with chat right now, you know? Dude, Genesis, like the, being at Genesis in the venue while the tournament was going on was so sick. Like, not even like the final day. It was like the all the top eight qualifiers, dude, so like everyone was getting so hyped. It, like the whole atmosphere was just amazing. I mean, and I mean, that goes for most tournaments, honestly, but Genesis was, like, such a big deal because it was, like, the first one and all that. It was so crazy. It was so cool to be there. Random question, but I'm curious. Which two art styles clash the most in this game? Art styles? Like, what do you mean by art styles? I guess, like, from third-party games kind of thing? Or I guess, like, from any game. Leo's gonna win Evil. Hey man, you never know. I remember in Smash 4 there was a there was an Evo that Leo got 65th. Remember that guys? Evo is crazy. Remember, best of three. Everything is best of three until top three. That's wild. So like there's gonna be a crazy, crazy amount of upsets. Evo is upset city because of the best of three. It's a, that's such a big factor. And there's so much people going. So it's like, you like you honestly, you, you never know. There might be like some K rule that dedicates his life to K rule. And he's like super, really, really good at the game. And he just cares about K rule. And like, have you ever fought a K rule? Like someone that dedicates their life to K rule and they're like super sick of the game? You know, who knows? Yeah, Civil War, so many upsets in Civil War. And there were so many people that went to Civil War, too. And Civil War was like reasonable rule sets. Like, there was best of fives. Never know, dog. That Kirby that sits in his basement and labs out all the crazy optimal Kirby stuff. He might come in. He might be coming in and come to get you, man. To get you a new boat. Yeah, quote, unquote, best ring of the year. It, it's like... I'm not the biggest fan of going to EVO, but you have to go to EVO if you're a competitor. If you're a competitor for the most part, oh, unfortunately, SD. If you're a competitor for the most part, like, it's just such a big tournament that you, like, just have to go. I mean, you don't really, like, have to have to go, but it's pretty much the biggest tournament. So even if you don't really like the tournament itself, you just kind of have to go. 
Yeah, like, like, let's be real. Ev everyone in the Smash community, like 99% of the Smash community, does not like the rule set. But they don't care. That's just how it is. They won't even do top eight best of five, which is like wild. Yeah, man, it's 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 gonna be nuts. Ev like everybody comes out to evil. Not everyone, but like 90% of the community that's good comes out to evil. So it's. It's insane, man. These, these brackets are really, really, really hard. Oh, and there's the up B. Mr. Concon bringing it right back. Like, I, I feel like if Nitro hasn't dropped a game, Nitro didn't drop a game with Richter, like, kind of has to go back to Richter, right? Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of got to go back. Doesn't have to, but, I mean, these games have been close. But yeah, I, the, he hasn't lost a game with Richter, so definitely going to be going Richter here in this game five situation. He's back, baby. You already know RWB. He's back, baby. What's the evil rule set? Uh, yeah, what Luigi main said. It's like the I, I just don't agree with the stage list. I don't. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Like, I just don't agree with it, and a lot of everyone else doesn't agree with it, so. And then it's uh, it's only best of five for top three. Top three out of a 3,000-man tournament. Oh, there's your jump. Sniped by the fireball, and that is your stock. And now, Nitro not put in the best position here after kind of going, uh, trying out the Joker. Like I said, I mean, he didn't really lose any games with the, with the Richter, so. Now, I mean, this could be the one game he drops, but since he opted to go for it, game five could just be the set, you know? So far, Konkon doing a really good job tacking on already 27%. But, I mean, honestly, 27, not too much. See if he can uh, keep getting in on Nitro. That's the hard part here for Luigi. Oh, that's the double jump snipe. Ooh, big damage. Platform tech chase. Yes, sir. Again and again. Oh, look at all this platform pressure. Concon is cashing out right now. But the down air into the double jump forward air tipper is going to take that stock right there. 86% on this Richter. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I got a little cough. Ooh, the fire actually stopping that side beat. Con Con is the madman. This is the point of the seven. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that, man. This tourney is not Evil Rosa, right? Uh, correct. This tourney is uh, using SoCal Rosa. So the forward air, Konkon, keeping it close. Seeing, you already see the dash tag. He's using all these options to close the gap, making sure he's sticking right next to this Richter. You do not want to be hanging around that mid-range area. That's where these Belmonts have a lot of options here. The Holy Water into the forward smash. Not going to get the tipper, though. But these axes are coming in. There's the roll, but man, he almost covered it. Oh, oh wow, he can do two. Okay. Oh, and the, the run up down B. Don't be expecting that. And the dash attack actually gonna take that stock here for Concon. Now he's in a great position. Wow, I love the staggered pressure with the dash attack and the returning uh, cross. Really, really good stuff. Mr. Konkon still holding on to the second stock, but can you make it? No, that misfire actually kind of messed him up. I guess maybe he thought he could make it to the center. Misfire might have actually just straight killed him. Now we're on a single stock apiece. Game five situation right now. Ooh, hey, there's an error, but he has to respect the returning cross. So gets a little bit of damage here, but he's just keeping on the pressure. Get off me, Nitro says, with the up B, very quick out of shield options, very great anti-air as well. Uh, pretty much uh, the Belmont's quickest uh, boxing option. Doesn't have a crazy amount of range. Ooh, the backside of the foot hitting the cross as well. Oh, that down air connecting, very, very big hitbox on that. He's dropping with the fireball there. I like the pressure, making sure he's not gonna get hit, by, hit up by that cross. And this is such a close game for both these competitors. So let's go Ouija in the chat. Falling there, so powerful. Yes, it is, man. Oh, that's, oh, he's living the directional air dodge. Some people cheering for Nitro in the chat. Oh, 
there's the Holy Warrior trying to get that two frame. The forward tilt might do the trick. Oh, but Kong Kong gets in. Dash attack. Tries to, oh, wow, he was out of range. That drive range is bad. Wow. And wait a minute. Oh, there's the up B. And Kong Kong on the ledge again. Such a hard spot to be against the Belmonts. The Holy Water, the cross. Nitro not able to land the killing blow just yet. There's the delay on the upbeat. Another Holy Water rolls right in. And Konkon gets back on stage. The dash stack to put Nitro off stage. Tries to set up the plunger. He can't make it back. And just like that, Konkon with the reverse 3 0 hand over the chest. Very intense set. He's probably going to walk right over here and be like, yo, the chat though. <laughs> He's back, baby. You already know. Game, game, baby. Let's go, Con Con. Everyone getting hype in the chat. The Poggers, the Pog champions, they're everywhere.